All right, guys, today we're gonna to work on the Smart Track 284, which is a Gemna made tractor from China. If you've seen one of my recent videos, we just, on that video, we put an injection pump on her. That was actually footage from two years ago, the week that we got the tractor. We've worked it like a dog since then. All we've done is change the oil and any broken lines that come about. Today we got to do a little bit different repairs, order some parts on the hydraulic lift on the back. So we'll go around here, this hydraulic lift, Got a lot of play in it in the arms that come up and down. I believe some bushings are broke, maybe even the housing or something, maybe something major. I've put it off all year while I'm working it because I was afraid it was going to be down because I expect it worse. Let's open it up and see what's going on in there. First thing I'm gonna do is get some of the stuff off out the way, pull this seat off so I can get to the bolts to get in there to really dig in there and see what's happening. Been putting this off all year until now when I need to track her less as possible because I fear the worst is happening there, something broken there. Hopefully it's just some warm bushings and a couple seals, but we'll find out today. Getting this ax and this seat off out the way. Keep in mind now, I'm no mechanic. I have no idea what the inside of this tractor is supposed to look like, but I see some obvious problems to begin with. Let me show you. Number one, this bushing is cracked right here, which I'm happy about because that's better than a housing <coughs> issue. Don't see any cracks in the housing. Second problem I see is this bushing apparently has slid all the way out. It should be up in there like this one. This one may should be even further. So I think these set screws right here, see that's loose, it's not even, shouldn't be turning. Pretty sure that set screw probably sits under that hole in that bushing. So this side could have wear on the housing on the bottom side because it's been resting on it. And it'd be my fault because I waited so long to work on it. But I'm a I'm gonna take it further apart and see, see what I'm dealing with. Everything's tightened up now. This collar here, this set screw on this collar here, actually wasn't tight either. So I got it centered on the spline, tightened it down. I didn't put Loctite on it, nor did I put Loctite on these set screws here because I got to order parts and tear all this back down again. But this collar here, there's a rod that goes in there and the cylinder inside this piston on this cylinder right here pushes that out and that's what raises your lift. So I drove this bushing back into place, putting it, put it in, and I probably won't have to take this one back out. I could have Loctited it, but I can pull it out later. This side's actually, the bushing's cracked, but I forced it in there the best I could, and I went ahead and locked it down as well, as tight as I could. So I need to order this bushing and a seal feet side, and maybe these little like 
hard plastic washers here. This one actually came off of this side. There's a, it's hard to see in there because it's dark, but there's a seal that's wore out from me having them bushings slid out like that. So it's gonna leak oil still, but it won't have that play and wear anymore in the meantime. Put that bushing back in. Got plastic bushing in this one as well. And I got lucky with my, I was blessed actually, I don't believe in luck so much. I was blessed with this gasket not tearing so I can wipe it off, maybe dab a little silicone on it and seal it right back down. So I'm gonna put this thing back together. I got a fresh filter screwed on there to catch any dust that might've got in there, but I was extra careful to keep it clean. And I'm gonna use this tractor till my parts come in because who knows what well, nowadays, it may be several weeks before I get the, get that bushing in these parts. So, and who knows, may have to go have that bushing turned, but I don't think so. I think they're usually pretty readily available. So anyway, I'm gonna put this back together. Probably won't shoot a video when the new parts come in because you can kind of see how it goes and what to do here. So it'll be just tearing this back off and putting the bushings on. Got that back together all but the top here but i got all the bushings and the arms back on and let me tell you there's zero lash or play in there like there was before where it was all flopping around and an obvious problem so i'm hoping i get that bushing and them them two seals and be good as new again and this will be better in the meantime until they come in and i get a chance to put them in i also cranked it up while i had the top off and made sure i could see with my eyes physically see that the pump was pumping real good. So my steering's been a little slow and I think it's just a bad cylinder on the steering as well. Cause I got plenty of flow, look like it was working well. So now I'm gonna put this top plate back on and put that aggravating seat back together. guys for the lift temporary repairs to order parts to exploratory surgery you might say got it put back together where the tractor can be moved and used a little bit one more thing i want to fix between these wind gusts as you'll see right here this shifter we got a plastic bag for a boot because the other boot's so stretched water runs down the, the shaft of that shifter into the transmission we leave it under a shed 90 percent of the time but there's sometimes we have to leave it out in the rain and I wanna do something to make that a little better. There's no need to order a part because the Chinese parts that come, they're just as stretched up. Any of the rubber parts or the electrical on here, are pretty much no good. Everything else has been pretty reliable on here because we have rough housed this tractor like all get out and it still holds up and continues to be a blessing to us today. So let me work on that. fix this is a wrench fix and if i could find a part that would fit it that i knew wouldn't be the same way in two months i would order a boot for it for this piece of rubber roofing it's wrapped several wraps around hose clamp and then wrap everything with tape just to make it look better don't snag my leg as bad getting on and off it'll do its job the boot's still on there so it's it's doing some 
some work up under there too, but this will help keep any moisture that gets from sliding down there, down that shaft and getting there, contaminate my oil. Oil's expensive. I don't wanna have to change it very often. Every time I forget and leave it out in the rain or sometimes I'm kind of stuck and have to, have to leave it hooked to a trailer or something while I'm working. Sometimes I work it in the rain. Anyway, that's it for today. Another day's come to an end. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. And as always, God gets the glory for the good in our lives. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. I hope he's yours. If you have any questions about our faith or have prayer requests or questions on anything, email us in the, eat to the email in the description below. God bless. Mm -hmm.